Welcome to the Hair of the Dog podcast. This is Nicole, and this is a special podcast episode brought to you directly out of the Hair of the Dog Academy. Inside the Academy, our members have the opportunity to schedule laser coaching calls. And not only are these calls beneficial for them, but they get shared inside the community so that all of our other members can benefit from them. What we've done is we've taken the very best of our laser coaching calls, the ones that I know you guys have questions for as well, and we are bringing them to you here as some bonus episodes on the Hair of the Dog podcast. Now, I'm not promising them every week, but periodically we'll be releasing new laser coaching calls out here on the podcast on Thursdays. So keep checking check in your podcast player and get ready for 15 to 20 minutes of quick laser coaching to get some quick wins, get some questions answered and helping our members and you move forward in your business. If you want to learn more about how you can become a Hair of the Dog Academy member too, simply go to hairofthedogacademy.com slash academy and check it out. We'd love to have you inside our pack. Now stay tuned for the laser coaching. And when I say laser coaching, is it just me or do you picture little cats with laser beams too? (laughs) That would make this even more fun, but I digress. No cats with laser beams, but some incredible business knowledge about to happen. Enjoy. Welcome to the Hair of the Dog podcast. If you're a pet photographer ready to make more money and start living a life by your design, you've come to the right place. And now, your host, pet photographer, travel addict, chocolate martini connoisseur, Nicole Begley. Hey everyone, Nicole here and I'm here with Marcia and we are going to talk about about pages and this one's kind of personal and I I you know, and I wanted to commend you for being open about it and sharing with us because I'm sure you're not alone and I'm sure there's lots of other people out here that are, you know, maybe struggling with the same thing. So I guess tell us a little bit about, you know, in your words, what's holding you up with your about page? Um, I've, I've read a lot of people, a lot of other people's websites, and I always see the about me page. And almost always it says, I have you know, like X number of years of photo, photographing, yep. X number of years of training dogs. And I don't have that. Um, yep. I only started photography about two years ago. And the only, I, the, I didn't even know it was a thing until I started seeing dog portraits on Instagram. And I was like, that, that is, that's for me, you know? <laughs> and so I started working. Now I, I have been really very, well, totally hesitant about putting um, an about me page in. There is none in my, in my website. Yep. Um, Primarily because number one, I don't have that experience, yep. and number two, I I want to talk about the only I want to talk about how much I love cats and dogs, yep. and honestly, the the reason one of the reasons that I'm so crazy about them is because when I'm in a really bad mood, the only way I get out of bed is yep. um, is knowing that I have to take care of my cats and that I want to take care of them. Yeah, I've spent pretty much my whole adult life fighting depression, fighting um, bipolar disorder. Yeah. And um, I, I don't know what to put. I, you know, I've had people kind of run away from me when they hear that. Right. I also have people saying, you know, I, I've done, I, I understand. So um, it really is that my cats and dogs when I grew up and I love them to death. And yeah. I just don't know what to put on the about me page. Yep. Yep. Great questions. Great insights. And I 100% think that you should share whatever amount of that story you're comfortable with. You just, you know, you can, you don't have to get deep into, you know, the specifics of what you've been suffering with, but you can definitely, I think that's part of what makes you unique and would endear me to how much you love animals and also endear to how important they are to us. I think, let me backtrack for a second. The part about all the pet photographers about me pages looking the same, I think it's a huge issue in the industry <laughs> because Sorry? Yeah, I think, I think it's a big issue in the industry that everybody okay. has the same thing on their about page because um, we're all different and there's no 
mayor of pet photography that says you have to have 10 years experience or gone to school for this or do that. I mean, your clients only care if you can create beautiful images that they, you know, the images, they care that you can create the images you're showing on your website for their animals. All that other stuff is not critical. So, um, hi kitty. I saw kitty go up steps. <laughs> um, yeah, so I think it is 100% fine to lean into that a little bit. And I think it's absolutely critical that you do have an about me page in whatever way this looks because, you know, our business is such a personal business and we're essentially a personal brand. It's just us. We're not photographing for some big corporation. You know, people want to know you. So, you know, let them see a little bit of you, of, of share why these animals are so important because other people feel that way too. You know, your, your story is not, you're not alone in that story. You know, there's other people out there that resonate with that. And for the, the few people that are turned off by it, they're not going to be your client anyway, you know? So yeah, (laughs) yeah, I wouldn't worry about them. You know, quite frankly, they probably want to be into, you know, it's, yeah, not something that you need to worry about because no matter what we're doing, if we are all of us, no matter what our story is, if we're all being true to our about me page, it's going to turn some people off. Like I talk about my zoo background. I'm sure I'm turning some like, you know, animal rights people off because of that you know, oh, well, then they're not my client. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Yeah. Um, You're welcome. And yeah, like I said, like, you don't have to go into like the deep details of it, but you can certainly say that, you know, these animals have been a lifetime. Yeah. Without going through um, any kind of diagnosis, just, yeah, you're, um, I'm kind of getting it. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. No, it's tough and it's scary and I totally get that. But yeah, no, I think that would be, that would be good. And you know, it's, it doesn't have to be long and involved and you should definitely have a photo of yourself there because people again, want to know us. So um, I'm happy about that. (laughs) (laughs) What's that? You're not happy about that? Not happy about that. (laughs) I'm going to, I'm going to like have, I think I have a friend like who's a photographer take my photo and I'll be holding my two cats in front of me. Yeah. 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 You know, and it, yeah. And, and it, the, the people just want to see your face. So then they know you. And when you show up for the session, they know you and they just, they connect with you. So mm-hmm. yeah, don't be scared of that. And yeah. Okay. I want to give you a big virtual hug. <laughs> oh, thank you. You're so kind. You, and I learned so much from you and, and I feel a lot better about putting pen to paper. Yeah. Good, good, good. And, you know, just start writing it out too and know like the first draft sometimes give yourself permission to have the first draft of your about me page be crap. You know, like sometimes we just have to start writing and the first draft is just not good. And then we start to see, oh, bits and pieces. I know for me, when I write something out, a lot of times I write it out and I'm like, oh, like I totally rework it. I'm like, oh, this part should be up here and this should be over here. And this doesn't make sense. Oh, but I should add in this. So just give yourself permission for it to be messy and, you know, kind of ugly and raw. The first one you write down, you don't have to share it with anybody. And then that starts to get those flowing and then you can, you know, tweak it a little bit. And, uh, you know, we're happy to give feedback in the group too, if you have questions about it. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Good, 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 good. When are, um, want to finish it with like a piece of action. Can you commit to, to writing your first draft by a certain date? I absolutely can. I would uh, give myself a week. Nice. And um, I, thank you. I will. You're welcome. I'm going to check in with you next week. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you for, um, yeah, thanks for, for being open and sharing this. Cause again, I think it's going to help a lot of people. I hope so. Thank you yeah. too. You're welcome. Talk to you soon and have a good week and I'll check with you next week. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right. Bye-bye. Bye. Thanks for listening to the Hair of the Dog podcast. If you want to check out the show notes for access to any of the links that we shared in this episode, as well as any additional resources, this was episode number 74. So simply go to www.hairofthedogacademy.com slash 74. 
Thanks for listening to this episode of Hair of the Dog podcast. If you enjoyed this show, please take a minute to leave a review. And while you're there, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss our upcoming episodes. One last thing. If you are ready to dive into more resources, head over to our website at www.hairofthedogacademy.com. Thanks for being a part of this pet photography community. 